Okay. Uh, today I will present the question to Thomas Trading. Okay, this is the beginning of balance of asset, liability and the capital. Okay, here uh, we will show the calculate of capital that uh, the capital is 45,700. Okay, now we will go through to the transaction. Okay, on the December 1, uh, the transaction is purchase merchandise on credit from credit LTD 3500 with credit. So the keyword is uh, the keyword. The related journal is purchase journal. Okay, the related double entry system is the keyword of double entry system is purchase merchandise on credit. So on here, the bid is purchase and the credit is account payable. Okay, next the example two. Uh, some merchandise on account to pay LTD for uh, four thousand five hundred with credit. Okay, the related uh, journal is sales journal. Okay. Uh, the double entry system, uh, the keyword for the double entry system is sold merchandise on account to pay LTD. Okay, the debit is account is purple and the credit is sales. Okay, next, the December 5. Uh, it turn a part of merchandise 400 that purchased on 1st December due to minor damage. Okay, the related journal is general journal. Okay, the keyword here is return a part of merchandise 400. Okay, here the double entry system is the bill is account payable and the credit is purchase return. Okay, next, December 9th, uh, main trading return a part of merchandise 350 because of default from a sales made on December 2. Okay, here the double uh, entry journal here is general journal. Okay. Then the keyword uh, here is May uh, May trading return a part of merchandise 350. Okay, here the debit entry system for this transaction is debit is sales return and the credit is account is mobile. Okay, next uh, December 11, uh, receive check from May trading for sales made on December 2. Okay, here the related journal is cash uh, cash receipt journal. Okay, the keyword uh, for this transaction is receive check from May May trading for sales. Okay, uh, the double entry system here is debit bank, and the credit is account is available. Okay, next uh, December sixteen. Okay, settle the amount owed uh, owed to carry LTD by check for the purchase made on first December. Okay, the related journal for this session is cash payment journal. So, the keyword for this session is settle the amount owed to KLTD by check. Okay, um, the double S uh, system for this session is debit account payable and the credit bank. Okay, next, uh, December 30. Uh, December 30. Pay utility expenses in cash 250. So here the related journal for this situation is cash payment journal. Okay, because uh, the company paid utility expenses in cash 250. So um, the WNT system for this situation is uh, the debit is utility expenses and the credit is cash. Last B. Uh, the last session is December 30. So, uh, the session is paid salaries expenses in cash, 1,200. So, uh, as we know, the related journal for this session is cash payment journals because the keyword for this session is paid salary expenses in cash, 1,200. So, the WNT system for this. Uh, the session is debit, salaries, expenses, and the credit cash. Okay, that's all. Okay, for the first transaction, we can uh, debited journal is purchase journal. So this is the format for the purchase journal. The account, account debited is okay, the debit is purchases and the credit is account payable. This is the amount ten thousand five hundred. Okay, so for the second December, second December is uh, so sales journal. So we have to record in session. This is the format. The format uh, the debit is account silver and the credit is sales. And the amount given the amount, the amount is 4,500. Okay, so for the 5 December, 2 December, 
is a general journal. You have to record in general journal. Yeah. So the account, the, the debit is uh, account payable and the credit is purchase return. The amount of gold there is 400. Okay, for the for 9, 9 December is general journal. So the the debit is sales return and the credit is maybe uh, account is global and the amount of gold there is 3350. Okay, for uh, 11, 11 of December, uh, 11 of December, uh, the letter journal is uh, cash receipt journal. Uh, we have to record it in cash receipt journal. This is the format. This is the format. Uh, the account credited is account receivable, very trading. And then the debit is bank. So uh, uh, this included the this sales discount because I pay on time. So this is how we calculate the discount. And then uh, for 16 December, uh, the related journal is cash payment journal. We have to record in cash payment journal. This is the format. Uh, the account, the account debited is uh, account payable. The amount, the amount of uh, account payable is uh, 10,100. Okay, so uh, for the 30, 30 December, the related journal uh, is uh, cash payment journal. Cash payment journal, you have to record it. Cash payment journal. This is the one. This is the format. And the amount for the 30th December of the transaction uh, is 250. So the last one is pay salaries of uh, expenses in cash. The uh, data is uh, cash payment journal. Uh, this is the format. Uh, the, amount, the amount is 1,200. That's all for the journal. Thank you very much. To do the subsidy ledger. Okay, uh, first we will make the account payable uh, subsidy ledger heavy limited. Okay, this on the taxation for the heavy limited for subsidy ledger. Okay, uh, the BNCF we will walk forward to the uh, we will make the summarize for the account payable account. Uh, okay, now uh, next we will make the account receivable merit trending. Um, and all this situation we will take from the journal and the uh, balance CM we will walk forward to make the account is payable on the account. Okay, this is all uh, account payable and account is payable on the account. So the balance BF, we, the all the account payable and account is payable, balance BF we will walk forward to the trial balance. Okay, now we will go through to the cash account. Okay. This all uh, we will uh, take from the cash payment or cash receipt journal and we will compare the lowest and biggest amount and the amount we will work forward to the time balance. Next, this uh, we will make the bank account. So this all the transaction we will take from the cash payment and cash receipt journal. So the balance PF we will work forward to the uh, time balance. Okay, next, purchase account. So uh, this is the section that we take from the purchase journal and uh, the uh, balance BF we will walk forward to the time balance. Okay, next sales account. Okay, the transaction we will take from the uh, sales journal and the amount for the balance BF we will walk forward to the time balance. Okay, uh, next uh, purchase return. Okay, uh, the amount for this uh, purchase item we will take from the general journal, general journal and the balance PM we will put forward to the time balance. Next, uh, sales return. Okay, uh, the taxation we will take from the general journal and the amount 350 we will put forward to the time balance. Uh, furthermore, the, uh, we will make the sales discounts. Okay, uh, sales discount. Uh, we will take from the taxation from the journal and the amount for this sales discount at uh, 83, uh, 83 uh, we will walk forward to the time balance okay, next uh, salaries expenses okay uh, sell, uh, salary expenses uh, we will take the taxation from the cash payment journal and the amount uh, 1200 we will walk forward to the time balance okay last uh, we will make the utility expenses account. Okay, uh, the amount from the cash payment journal 
we will take 250 and we will came uh, we will put forward to the Thai balance uh, to make the Thai balance okay that's all okay. uh, 50 icon in Indonesia so now we want to make the Thai balance okay firstly inventory from the danger 27500 must be recorded in the tabby site and secondly equipment from the general ledger 42000 in tabby site third bank loan from general ledger 34200 from tabby site uh, the capital in the general ledger 45700 in tabby site and comparable from general ledger 31,200 in credit side and equal silver 20 from ledger 37,600 from credit side and the cash in the ledger 12,515 in the credit side and the overdrive bank from the ledger 6,023 in credit side and sales from the general ledger uh, 4,500 in credit side purchases from ledger 10500 in the debit side sales return 315 from the ledger in the debit side purchases return from the ledger 400 in credit side edit sales discount in general ledger 83 in the debit side utility expenses 215 from the ledger in the debit side Selling expenses from the ledger 1,200 in the debit side, and the total we can see in the same balance will be 3 million. Thank you. It was from thank you.